So with Sjogren's, you know, I picked it because a lot of times people come into the office and they exhibit some of the signs of it. Um, it's a lot more common than people think. And uh, it's, it, it's something that is a real hallmark warning sign that there are some big problems stewing in the future. So obviously it's a, uh, you know, chronic autoimmune disorder, uh, white blood cells attack moisture producing glands in the body. Nine out of 10 patients are women. Symptoms usually occur after the age 40, but either sex at any age can occur. Um, dry eyes, dry mouth, other symptoms, uh, enlarged salivary glands, vaginal dryness, fatigue, fever, joint pain, swelling, uh, dry skin and rashes. Now, you know, once again, people just aren't coming in presenting this. Uh, you know, people are coming in saying, you know, I'm not sleeping well at night. Well, as soon as someone tells me they're not sleeping well at night, I know that they've got elevated cortisol. I know they're in a pro-TH2 dominant immune stressor situation. I know they've got more thyroid binding globulin that's being released because of their sleep problem. So they're not just a, a patch of dry skin sitting in front of us for us to evaluate. They have all these other vectors that are kind of melting down on them all at one time. And, uh, and, and it's important for us to kind of look at those vectors and go, all right, just as what was said, uh, I, I think Dr. Ellifort was so right on about, you got to talk about what happened from the time they were born on. Because a lot of times we miss the pearls and we miss really what's happened to set up where they are today.